waiting at Canadian Tire in Cochrane for my curbside pickup. About once a month, I treat myself. Daisy and I going out for lunch. Okay, had to pull over because somebody was given something at Tim Hortons. What is it? What is it? Have you been a good girl? Hey, eh? Have you been a good girl? Have you been a good girl? Yeah. So, a lot of you know that Monday was my birthday. I turned 58. Sorry, I didn't put my tooth in today. Sorry if I disgust you. I thought many of you have seen that I'm missing a tooth. Anywho, so Monday I was on a bit of a high. I had posted that video and I had got some wonderful comments. And then yesterday came. And I never posted a video. Uh, I usually post a video every day. But I was too engrossed in throwing myself a pity party. For one. I hate when you're after every birthday, you realize that you're just that much closer to having one foot in the grave. But uh, so today I snapped out of it. And, uh, well, last night, I guess I did, and I ordered myself something for my birthday. Because I was looking at the grass, and the grass needs cut. But even after I cut the grass, here, I'll turn you around and show you. Let's see, the grass needs cut. But after I cut it, I'm not 100% satisfied with the job. I need a whipper snipper. We have uh, a nice whipper snipper. Uh, by the time I get the darn thing started, after pulling and pulling and pulling, and then walking to the tree, I want to whipper snip around, uh, and it conks out, and I have to start it again. I'm tired before I even begin. So, look what I bought myself. Since Bob was so impressed with his battery power chainsaw, I thought, hmm, battery powered whippersnipper. Oh, just great. This is like IKEA. Oh, it does come with two batteries, a charger. Uh, this thing fits because you can turn it on its side and use the wheels as an edger or something. So that's sort of cool. Um, so I guess I better read the darn instructions and see how to put this sucker together. So, so while I'm waiting for the battery to charge up on the new whipper stimper, let's fill up the lawnmower and get cutting some grass. Oh. Now, if you've seen my review before on this thing, I just love it. Bob sets the pails up high for me. So I can just pull in. Whoop. Apparently, I didn't pull in just quite far enough. There we go. Clip that in there and push the on button. Oh boy. I'll just watch it fill up. No more lifting, no more spilling fuel all over the lawnmower. And then having to push it outside so the wind blows the gas all out and the fumes all off. And then maybe an hour later, you can start it. 
And there we go. It is full. Boy, that took a long time, eh? Not. I love this thing. I'll just got a handy holder right here. That you just clip it onto. There. Okay. And like I was taught by my dad, you always check the oil every time. Oil's good. Let's go cut some grass. Okay, so I didn't figure out how to put the edger on, but I'm not going to do the edging. And this thing is telescopic. So unlock it and you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want, depending on your height, which is great. And then this swivels. So say I was standing on the ground, but I wanted to do a, an embankment. You can put it straight up and down. So you're not having to stand on the slope edge and do it. So that is sort of cool. So um, what else does this have? Okay, so you've got multi ways for the handle to go to fit my preference. The battery just clips on there. It says it weighs under 20 pounds, which is really light. So this is sort of cool. <laughs> Well, look at this. One finger, under 20 pounds. Oh, jeepers. And you don't have that vibration from the motor. Oh, I'm loving this. And when the battery's dead, I'm probably, oh, I was gonna say I'm ready for a break, but there's a second battery. So when both batteries are dead, you're probably ready for a break anyways. Okay, so, looks a little better. Didn't get it all done, of course, but a little bit better. It didn't like the vetch in the long grass, which our gas-powered whippersnipper doesn't like vetch. Vetch is uh, a really viney, uh, great cattle feed, but whipper sippers don't like it because it's a real vine in it, and it just bungs up the the head. And yeah, so so this was a works three in one. 12 inch, 20 volt grass drawer. And I'm giving it a two thumbs up. I was thinking that maybe I should have got something like a DeWalt or something that has the same battery as some of her other tools. But then I was thinking, no, because then every th time I wanted the whipper snipper, I'd ha have to go look on the bat for the batteries that might be on something else so this way only these batteries can use for this gas for this trimmer i give it a two thumbs up this is great it's lightweight woman friendly <laughs>